special guest. He's an associate professor of English at the University of Wisconsin, Oshkosh. And on the first day of class, he asks his students to drop the course if they're offended by certain ideas or beliefs. Come on in, my hero, Professor Duke <laughs> Pesta. Professor, can I call you Duke? Is that okay? Duke is great, thank you. Okay, Duke, they ask, you make your students sign a contract at the beginning of the year, right? Uh, saying, okay. right, if you don't, if you don't sign... If you don't sign, don't take the class. Is that it? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, we've reached the point now where students have this weird idea that they can shut down any book, they can censor any comment in class, they can completely redirect any class simply because they're offended by something. And so my view is, let's get them out of the class the first day. If you're, if you're going to be that kind of a student, it's better, we're better off without you. So I give them a long list of things that if they're offended by, they need to drop the class. Give, give me a list of some of the things that they could be offended by. <laughs> Free speech, positive <laughs> representations of Christianity or religion in general, uh, uh, positive, uh, positive representations of free markets or capitalism, uh, traditional gender identities. Look, I teach literature that is from Shakespeare's period or on back. I teach old literature. Inevitably, these kids are only going to encounter Christian worldview in Western culture. They're only going to encounter traditional gender roles. And so I tell these kids from the outset, these cultures existed before you were born. Their world is not our world. If you can't set aside your contemporary biases and understand their culture, then you got to drop the class. The whole point of a university education is to consider alternate ideas from your own. All you're doing is restoring the basic concept of what a university should do. That's where I'm coming Bingo. from. Bingo. That's exactly right. We have got, think about how the universities pre preach absolute tolerance for worldviews different from your own. But when that applies to traditional Christian cultures or ancient cultures that believed in uh, uh, male-female marriage or uh, the entire history of the world up until recently that saw male and female as actual things, now in the progressive university, because we're pushing all those agendas, when you encounter traditional marriage in Shakespeare, that's a microaggression to these kids. When you encounter uh, positive representations of, of of, of free markets and capitalism. This offends my Marxist sensibility. I don't have time for it, and it is anti-education to give, to give in to these, those kind of imperatives. Professor, you are so right. You are so right. What a pleasure to have you on this program. I do hope you can come again and lecture to the world about good stuff. We appreciate it. Thank Any, you, Duke. Anytime. Thank See you. See you again soon. Thanks very much.